We're lit. We're it's lit. live. It's the Turn Me Loose podcast is about to jive on this Thursday. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Follow us on Twitter at Turn Me Loose Pod. Write to us, please. Write to us. Turn Me Loose Podcast at gmail.com. It might be on SoundCloud. We might not. It kind of sucks ass. But we'll figure it out. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. For the show. Hey guys, Ben here from TMLP, with my new friend Cheetan, here to sing you a little duet. Got anything to say to the peeps, Cheats? Hey, quit fucking being weird. You've been weird this whole time. Just sing your fucking part, I'll sing my fucking part, we'll go home. Tired of that fly, crawling across your house, I bet you wish there was some way to take him out. Bug us all. God damn it, you really? You bug us all. It's the original salt guy. Can I get out of here? First you'll pour some salt as ammunition. Those pesky flowers will be where. Then you scope your sight. Accept your mission. Shoot those suckers out of the air. Out of the air. Cheats. Cheats, that's your part. Cheats. I'm coming here, baby. You can fucking rim me, dude. This is a fucking dungeon. Get me the, get me out of this shithole. Bug of salt. Is that what you need me to say? Bug of salt. Buy bug of salt. There, I said it. Get me the fuck out of here. It's Thursday night. The Turn Me Loose podcast crew is here. It's your boy Ryan. I'm sitting in with Pat. What's up, Pat? Doing great. And Mike, how you doing? What's up, motherfuckers? <laughs> He's ready. <laughs> he is ready today. And then, ready. of course, Ben Hameen. Ben. Oh, What's it's up? Thursday. It's a beautiful day in the nap. <laughs> Speaking of being in the nap, you know who's around, Pat. You saw him downtown. Oh, Mr. Hanks. Tom Hanks is in the nap. Shout out to Tom Hanks. Wait, you actually saw him? I wish. Did you see him? I didn't see him. Oh. I only. <laughs> uh, I see a lot of the the Pacers people, like the people that work at the Pacers. And they were super excited to see him. He was having a fundraiser. Uh, Tom Hanks was so. One of them for the veterans. Yeah, he was doing um, 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 um. <clears throat> honoring the hidden heroes in Indianapolis. He was also at the Children's Museum. But it just got me thinking of all my favorite Tom Hanks movies, and it got me to number one, which is Cast Wilson. <laughs> Wilson. Yeah. Well, he had to fly here, so imagine being next to him on that flight. <laughs> it's an immediate selfie with like one of those like weird like oh, oh my God, here we go <laughs> like one of those faces. So you're putting yourself in Tom Hanks' shoes. You never know what could happen. It's a, every every, every time he goes on a flight, someone posts one of those photos. It's yeah. just like, like shit. Oh. We're gonna be on an island. Exactly. We Where's prefer Wilson? Castaway over Force because Gump. oh, you're saying you. Tom Hanks terrified. was the pilot of the 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 new movie where the the. The pilot, uh, pilot the plane to the the river. Scully. Oh, Sully, yeah. He is God the damn it. he is the uh, the star in that God movie. Damn it! You're right. So you're saying you've got Castaway. <laughs> now I'm with you. So you're not uh, putting Forrest yourself Gump. in Tom Hanks' shoes. Forrest Gump. <laughs> you're saying sitting next to Tom Hanks will make you only think about a plane going down. <laughs> yes. What is it? Where he's the ship captain and it gets taken over. Look at me. I am the captain now. <laughs> captain Jack. Captain. Phillips or whatever. Captain Phillips. Captain Jack. Uh, speaking of great people, Arnold Schwarzenegger Ooh. was in Africa. I, I know you guys saw the video of him. He was betrayed. Drop kicked. Don't drop kick the guy who can travel through time and has defeated a predator in one on one combat. It's foolish. He's the governor. They barely even flinch, though. This dude comes out and just flies at him. He's fucking he, he former... Like, yeah, he's like kicking a rhinoceros. World, world's strongest man. <laughs> he, he even has security to prevent that, too. He's 71 years old. If you guys want Arnold facts, I literally have them for days. Please. I brought this up for you. <laughs> <laughs> Go, Mike. Well, he has a book out called Total Recall. It's a bit of a <laughs> autobiography. You got me. It ha- has nothing to do with the movie Total Recall, but it's a uh, 
It's about his life, and I read it a while ago, but I think he's originally from Austria, and he used to drive tanks. <laughs> then he, like, started working out a bunch, and he, like, just started getting fucking jacked. Talk and, about his diet. And they, uh... Keto. Don't say a word about keto. They, keto. <laughs> Does he do keto? That he's, like, the inventor of keto. He didn't uh, invent it, but he made it, like... Hey, Arnold Schwarzenegger became Mr. Universe because he did keto, so now everyone thinks that if they just eat meat, they're just going to lose a shit. What's that weight. movie? It's on Netflix. Where it's all about, it's like a documentary about his bodybuilding. Oh, it's just yeah, I don't know what it's called. But Cranky Anchors? Yes. Iron That's Strong or some like, <laughs> iron-related? Built like a horse. Uh, Cock like horse. Austria born. What did you just say? I will, fu- <laughs> I will like fuck horse. Maria Schreiber. Cock like horse. That's what, yeah. Right, dog. <laughs> Built like horse, cock like horse. Then he got in with, like, the <laughs> Austrian... He got same. in with, like, the Kennedys or some shit. Maria Shriver. And that's just... Yeah, married to Kennedy. The rest yeah. Then he the rest had a child history. with his maid or something like then that. Then he fucked, uh... Oh, here we go. The juicy stuff. He fucked the maid. The maid, yeah. The maid. Sexy maid. The Terminator. I Terminated. will fuck you all, you so dust these cabinets. Terminate the maid. Terminator. <laughs> Best Arnold Schwarzenegger movie. Mm. Yeah, Can you earn cop? Stop. <laughs> the Sixth Day. <laughs> Demolition <laughs> Man. I like Total Recall. <laughs> you think Total Recall goes is Total Recall. It's not, dude. I already said it. It's Predator all the way. Terminator. Mm. Judgment Day. It's just not a Terminator guy, though. I respect the movie. The new trailer for the latest one dropped today. It's going to be a new Terminator movie. Some dude just sitting in a room. We don't have anything to write about. James Cameron? Don't. Don't. (laughs) Why do you always... I didn't. He brought up Arnold Schwarzenegger, then we started talking about Terminator. That's Here fucking comes James Cameron. James Cameron. <laughs> what do you right want me to back do? in the mix? It's on his high horse. Speaking I'm not going to say a bad word about James Cameron. I will. This week. Fuck you, James Fuck Cameron. You James Cameron. Damn Speaking it. of high horses, I got the horses in. Is he saying bag or back? I don't know. I, I hate just saw, you. I just heard the song today. That's a fucking like lie. Three days ago, not today. Three, three or four days ago. You're the master of hype tracks, and you tell me you just heard like the song that's been played, overplayed, yeah. and under- I knew who he was, but I didn't ever actually listen to the song. I watched who the, mu- is it? the music video. That's finally came Lil out, Nas X. so I watched the music video. I don't know what you're talking about. It's who? Lil Nas. X. Lil Nas. What is his name? Lil Nas X. Lil Nas X. Oh Never duh. The who's on my booty? Who's the country singer? Billy, Billy Ray, Ray Cyrus. Cyrus. Oh, you just immediately made that a. Banger James. to me. Duh. It's a smash hit. Well, actually, so he, Lil Nas X came out the original, then Billy Ray Cyrus jumped on the remix. And this is true. The reason this happened is because they Lil Nas collapsed. X, his song was, I don't know if it actually like reached the country charts or it was about to. And the Country Music Academy told him that his song wasn't, wasn't country enough. So he got banned from the country music charts. That's when Billy Ray Cyrus the fucking interjected. Man. And then after that happened, Old Town Road Remix was number one on the top 50 charts, and Old Town Road, Road uh, Classic was number two. So he had both top spots on the top boom, 50. Boom, boom, boom. Hitta, hitta, hitta. I ain't even mad. And he just got a... Uh, Billy Ray Cyrus is a G. He just got a endorsement from Wrangler. So, <laughs> just shout out to this dude. He's just making moves no, right now. Shout out Wrangler. That's a shout great, out Wrangler on uh, his booty. And he, uh, Lil Nas X, just gifted Billy Ray Cyrus a Maserati. There you go. That's what I was trying to get to. For so, do you think him and Brett Favre will do some ads together? I, I hope so. All right. Like Lil Nas X just drops back and throws a tight spiral to Brett Favre instead of it. You know, like you would think it'd be Brett Favre. Roll reversal. Him. Exactly. Are you listening out there? Yeah. Ad execs. Yeah. Come on. I got Lil Nas X facts on Please. that too. Apparently, Jesus. so he uh, <laughs> the beat for Old Town Road. Making up for our lack of he, Kodak Black yeah. facts this week. Uh, well, he so he got the beat for that song for forty dollars off some beat website. Hmm. And it samples a Nine Inch Nails track. Thank you, God. So that's that's all my facts on this subject. But you took your horse to the old sound road on that fact. I got the horses in the back. In the bag? Is it in the back? 
I got the horses, horses in, in the, the bag. bag. In the no, back. In the I don't know what you're saying. Horses Anyways. in the back. Why? In the back of the house. Shouldn't the horses be in the front for a quick getaway? <laughs> if you watch any the western, back. they're always tied up out front. Horse stock is attached. <laughs> Horse stock? Right horse cock is attached? I don't know the fucking lyrics, bro. <laughs> Got the horses Did I not provide enough facts for you? Got the not horses in the enough. back. Shouldn't horse cock sang. on my mind. I know Billy Ray is No. I still have no idea. Right. No idea. You see the oh, whale? The you see there's another whale with a bunch of plastic in its stomach, too? Stop talking about that. It just makes me sad. Well, I, I'm just saying... I Okay. I was mm-hmm. trying to bring it around. I think that we we're starting to come around. up with new solutions you think to you save the earth. <laughs> And I, I think I found of a, a good one that we can all agree that we should do. Uh, Washington has become the first state to legalize composting of humans. Mm-hmm. Washington State, yeah. Yeah. So you can literally throw me in the trash. Yep. yep. You can become Frank a tree. yourself. And just become soil. You can become throw me in the trash when I die. Yep. Wow. That's ruthless. That's fantastic. I'm sure it's not as simple as throwing you in the trash. Oh, he's dead. Just toss him in the dumpster. (laughs) How human composting works. The body is covered in natural materials like straw or wood chips. And over the course of about three to seven weeks, thanks to to microbial activity, it breaks down (laughs) into the soil. (laughs) So microbial activity, of course. This is actually fucked. Yeah. So we just turn ourselves into Somehow, soil. Somehow, the average burial can cost between eight thousand and twenty-five thousand. Cremation can top six thousand. And the head of this said that they would charge about fifty-five hundred for human composting. So to all you Greenpeace motherfuckers out there, all those people who really think they stand for some hundred bucks, no way. If you don't turn yourself into the earth when you die, you've been living a lie. You're this is a what poser. I'm, do. I'm definitely doing this. I have to become a fucking I'm saying tree. you're gonna leave your family in twenty thousand dollars worth of debt, and you can literally become a tree. I want you guys to do a ceremony where I'm in a canoe and you push me out into the ocean. Am I gonna shoot an arrow? And you're gonna shoot yes. flaming arrows. You guys have to shoot me. the arrow though. All three of you have to do it at once. <laughs> what if none of us hit? All of you I mean, have to hit game at the thrones. same time. <laughs> so if one hits and you're still on fire, we just have to keep shooting flaming arrows until we all three hit once? No, you all have to hit simultaneously. You guys are going to have to practice when I'm about to die. You better warn us. Are you going to be still alive and we have to hit you? No, I'm, oh, okay. I'm dead. Man. We have to go through a vigorous training for the next 20 years is basically what he's saying. We all have to practice archery for his ceremonial yes. And hey, uh, I've actually got an idea to make the world a better place. Oh, can't wait. All these fuckers are, like, throwing trash in the ocean and shit. I saw that image where, like, there's an entire port with just filled with trash. Mm-hmm. You ha- We come up with a test. Physical, mental it's like test a- that you have to pass to be able to reproduce. Emotional? Emotional, yes. Definitely, just Definitely emotional. Definitely emotional. Mm-hmm. You so, think you're... So you have high to take, standards, and if not, you just immediately get a vasectomy. So we're going a modern day Jim Crow laws. Well, I think with the recent oh, laws in Alabama and Georgia, want. this is not too far fetched <laughs> of an idea just to start. Oh, do you want to vote? Cutting off. You have to take this impossible test, and it's going to judge your whole personality. But it's not for voting; it's for reproducing. Exactly, it's Let even worse. Yes. Your best <laughs> what happens if you're? A great human being. What? Uh, no, because it's just going to start evolving into like making superhumans. Yes. This is like a Hunger Games. Like, oh, your family has a history of cancer. You're a great person, but you have a history of AIDS. Like, no. All right. Jesus. What do you guys know about smoking psychedelic toad milk? God, I wish I knew more. All right. Well, smoking psychedelic toad milk could alleviate depression for up to four weeks. What? A milky, psychoactive secretion that oozes from the glands of a North American toad could provide a fast-acting and extremely potent treatment for depression, according to a new study. So you just get fucked up on toad? The amphibian in question is the Colorado River toad. Of course, it's in Colorado. Of course. Of course. God damn it. What the fuck are you guys doing out there in Boulder? You guys need (laughs) fucking jobs. What are you putting in the water? (laughs) They're just fucking licking toads. Licking toads. The atmosphere is turning into psychedelic. Imagine the first, guy, are all the first guy to extract that excretion would be fucked. Say that word again. Extract that excretion. He would be, uh, 
Yeah, he's like, <laughs> oh, uh, this, this looks like this toad's got some milky substance on top of it. Let I'm gonna try lick and it. Eat Let me it. lick this. Mm. Ah, fuck, I licked it. I didn't get much off of it. Let's smoke it. You know, this is gonna start. Magic. Toad. A lot of people are gonna start licking random animals. See what happens. Ooh, this is oozing. Ooh, this is secreting. Ooh, this is goopy. They're gonna start licking weird so, stuff. Poison department. What chemical is in One, this two, three. fucking milk? Poison, poison. That poison. Is. What chemical Sipping is in this milk toad. that's uh, you know, helping mm. our brands? It contains a compound called 5 meo DMT. Oh, DMT. Oh. DMT. Pat's down to lick a toad or two now. There you go. So Pat, would you smoke some toad milk? Yes, I would. Yes, I would. <laughs> <laughs> you smoke it? Go? I thought you had to lick oh, a toad. You smoke it? No, you smoke no, the yeah. toad milk. Uh, actually, I saw a, uh, a Vice video about this. Only it was in the Amazon. Similar. Similar situation. Mm. Oh. He turned it into tea, though. He drank it. To investigate its efficiency, researchers toad used tea. a battery of psychiatric <laughs> tests to examine the impact of smoking the toad milk on 42 participants. Um, the authors reported How do you get that involved average in that depression study? ratings were down by 18% one day after inhaling the substance. While anxiety was reduced by 39% and stress by 27%. Yeah, because they just smoked a fucking toad. <laughs> why DMT. wouldn't you be like, why wouldn't you be dis- depressed? Like, oh, what'd you do last night, Bob? <laughs> oh, I was just smoking a toad. <laughs> uh, or in your case, sipping on some toad. Just. <laughs> Uh, I'm the best. Recently, a separate study by Johns Hopkins researchers found that 80% of people who use the same synthetic 5-MeO DMT reported a reduction in both depression and anxiety. So, if toad milk doesn't appeal, there's a vegan option too. <laughs> there's a vegan DMT. It's like synthetic, vegan. so like you don't have to get it straight from the toad itself. They can um, make it in a lab now. Oh, duh, it's, it's like smoking spice. K2. Ain't no toads touching us. <laughs> I'm not even going to get into this. Don't touch my toads. To that. Let's just make some uh-huh. synthetic PSA shit kids. sprayed on some dirt. And Do every drug but spice. Even meth. toad milk. Yeah, do toad milk. What was the, try toad milk. Let's know what it is. No, stay away from heroin. Meth is a no-go. Yeah. PCP looks fun. Bath salts, stay away. Just once. Bath salts, just once. Because I just want to know if I could see the fourth dimension. I've heard you're going to end up meth. eating somebody's face <laughs> off. Four strokes. Well, you almost did meth. <laughs> Is that what you said? said? heard good things about it. Oh, I thought you said <laughs> From like, who? God damn it. From a friend. Just people. Has anyone offered you meth recently? It's the talk, it's the talk of the town where I'm at. Has it's anyone, the Fountain Square Now I'm, I'm concerned. Has anyone offered you meth recently? Just the, I don't know, it's just the first person I saw when I moved in. So, wait, what? First person I saw. Oh, hey, how's it going? I'm Pat. I smoke meth. Can I smoke meth with you? Yeah, sure, come on in. Wait, 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 wait. You invited this dude in your house? Yeah. And he smoked meth in your house? Well, I was smoking pot. And he's like, hey, hey, do 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 do. And he just whipped out the bowl. And I was like, oh, you're and, one of those guys. And you and you let him? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Why not? What is your life? All right, well, guys, <laughs> cancel all your plans this weekend. We're going down to Indianapolis and we're moving Pat back up here. <laughs> This is the first day. Why am I there. just hearing about this now? That was like the very. That, that was your first day down there. No, I had the keys and I was okay. ju- I was like I had like bare bones in there, so I only had like um, I don't know my clothes, a couple trash bags, and like a, not even a place to sit down. Seeing if you had that meth smell on you. Oh thanks. Just put some Jesse Pinkman <laughs> motherfucker in your crew. Anyways. There's no way he was that clean. He didn't look like a meth head. He just looked like a straight shooter. I mean, I'm super skinny, but... I'm not talking about like you. The guy, the guy looks... You do look like a meth head. <laughs> I'm talking about the guy that actually smokes meth? He just looked yeah, like... He's, he's, yeah, he, he was a... Uh, he meth. looks like a guy after, you probably should have had in your house. After he pulled out the meth pipe or whatever, you, I don't even know what no, you No, he didn't look all spooky and scary. He was just like a... Just a regular uh, guy. Just like a regular dude. And you thought he was a cool dude. He was hitting on it, though. It was weird. Why does it always turn gay with you? <laughs> he was a gay guy. Well, meth does make you super my, horny. My neighbor is actually gay, I think. It's an old gay guy. Nice. So, that's probably so where he was you coming from. Or that's where he was headed out. Yeah, he was going to go smoke meth with that guy. Homosexual nice. meth head into Because he told me that gay people like meth. They just, like, makes them horny. Yeah. So. 
Pat, be careful well. who you're hanging out with. So there. that guy came in your house, Jesus smoked a little mess before he went upstairs and banged your old neighbor? Probably. God damn it. What, can we move on? Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> we're going to do a new segment here on the TML podcast. It is going to be a mystery debate segment. We're going to pull a category, maybe two, depending on, on what we get out of a, a fishbowl. For now, it's going to be a brown hat with lice in it. I'm excited. Where is that brown hat? Bring it, bring it, someone, bring it. someone, so, shake him up. This is all. Would you rather? It's just really any anything. Random. Random. Fuck Mary kills. You don't know what you're gonna get. And so why don't you hold the bag? Let Mike pull one out, and I'll read it aloud. And Pat's excluded because he just told a fucked up story. Because Pat, you need to think about everything. You need to Your recent on that. choices. <laughs> yeah, Pat. You you like got We gotta put you in a corner or something, bud. Mm-hmm. But everybody, no matter who, we all participated. We all wrote down questions. We all put stuff in here. So, and everybody's gonna answer. So whoever pulls should read. That's a. Objection. We thought about oh, that. Okay, so I didn't write but mine in plain up. English. So my bad. We'll be better next week. This is the first. This is the first run of it. We're not great. And he's pulling it out. Are you mixing them up? I'm mixing. Sorry. I thought I'm you were mixing. being a little. If it's not plain teams. English. I'll pass it back to you. That's fair. If it's my handwriting, it's passed it back. Otherwise, it's gosh, I really hope it's mine because I would love someone else to read it. It's fantastic. <laughs> mine are that bad. Here we go, pulling it out the hat. Getting passed <laughs> to you. Oh no. Oh yeah, this is a. This is a horns one. Oh okay. If you could be any member of any band, what would what would band would you be in, and what instrument would you play, or etc.? So I'm just like myself. I don't have to like be someone. And I could just be in any Either band. Way, you could be I can play an instrument. Yeah. Any like so like you would have this. You we would have that person's catalog, like that person's life. Like you would live the life of X person in X and Y band. Oh. Mm. Oh, so I would take the place of somebody. Right. Mm. So like, Gosh. if you wanted to be like, I don't know. So I can like ride high and, and die you young. Be, like if you want to be the lead singer and be the lead singer, yeah. If you want to be, you know, Jim Morrison, be Jim Morrison. Oh, I was thinking more like Tupac. Can I mean, Machine Gun Kelly in that movie. <laughs> <laughs> what? So you you want to be Machine Gun Kelly? Just so for his just acting that, roles. That, that, that acting role. I might be like Jamie Fox. Get dual threatened. That's Ooh, not a bad idea. Exactly. So. Bradley Cooper. Quit it. <laughs> I might shock the world and be Amy Winehouse and just try to change myself. There you go. Yeah, you should have gone out. You're going to burn out. <laughs> no, you're still going to burn out. <laughs> so I can't go save a life here. We, we know you. We you stop know you, drinking. You can't, can't alter the course of reality. Yep. Whatever happens, happens. Ah, so With those struggles that she went through, Ben, how can <laughs> no, you put dude, yourself be, through that? Well, what's, what's your answer? answer? How could you put uh, yourself through You must have through thought that. of this. I've thought about this. If you want my answer, I've got it. I'm going like Jack, Jack Black straight off. out the gate. Like, right. That's not a bad play. Good. I would love Jack movies. Black's life. Exactly. Like so. a lot of a couple movies, a lot of movies. Yeah. And when I'm done with that, I can just go bang my wife that's 15 years younger than me. And when I'm done with that, I can and just go perform. I can go around the world and just play music yeah. Wait, with my best friend. It's pretty good. Was he on Zabumafu? I know. I don't know. He just has some <laughs> weird ass like. I don't know what you would call the instrument that he runs around with now. Oh, what is that? <laughs> the sexy sax? The sex, or whatever it is. It is the sexy sax. Sex. It's like electric horn or whatever. No, it's called like a stratahorn. It's something like that. It's like a stratahorn or something. <laughs> it's an amazing instrument, though. All, All right. right. So if you want mine, I'm going goddamn Kid Rock. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Bo, what the, yeah. Man, I'm going Kid Rock. He just lives a sweet-ass life. Huh. Even through the bad, huh? I'll probably I'm just go. Thinking, like he's making it. He's he's just he's had his he's had his struggles. He's had his highs. You know he's he ripped off Werewolves in London, had that one jam, and got that second act going. Now he's like playing golf with the president and like stuff like that. So, I'm going Kid Rock. I'm going Sting. <laughs> Save the world, save the reach. Might actually get a good singing ad out of you. Yeah, become really good at singing. He's a sex god. 
It's been in a couple movies. How do you know that? Jeez. What's your fact on Trash. him being a sex guy? He's into tantric sex. What's that mean, Pat? Where, like, he, tries, he like tries to make his orgasms more than, like, 20 minutes. His orgasms. Wait, what? Or he's got, like, really long orgasms. So or he comes for like 20 that? straight minutes? That sounds <laughs> like a That's exaggeration, task. but, like... <laughs> oh, that was amazing. I just came for he has 20 sex, straight minutes. Sex for hours, and then he has, like, long orgasms. Simulating that male G-spot. Huh? Something like that. He's into tantric sex. How do you know this? That Sting is into tantric um, sex. My dad told me that. <laughs> <laughs> this is comments. This is comments belonging knowledge. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <coughs> oh, you made me choke. Don't say things like that. Okay, so oh. remind me what you're going. I'm going Jack Black. Jack Black, Kid Rock, Sting. <laughs> I'll go with the lead singer of a popular band known as NSYNC. JT. JT. Justin Timberlake. I think this is the best thing you end up with Jessica Biel. John Mayer would be good. Duh. No. Dude, wait, you've already said And Steve. he's been in some like movies, Steve, too. What was that movie that he was in? Friends with Benefits or whatever. No, nah, the one where he was like, it was like a fucking like stop time or something. Oh, yeah. Tantric sex out of we my life. We got five so. minutes to say the world. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's time for... <clears throat> Bam's big, 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 I just feel a little self-conscious of my thinning bush. Wow. You know, I had the same issue not too long ago myself. Really? How'd you fix your forbidden forest woes? It was simple. I went to ebay.com and bought a merkin. eBay? Merkin? you damn right. eBay is the best way to shop for merkins. I know when I go to eBay, I can shop a variety of pubic wigs ranging in color, density, and if you prefer, pressed or permed. Wow. Pressed or permed? But where do they get the hair? I think you know the answer to that. Mother of God, eBay. eBay eBay.com. They have Merkins. So, Ben, what's your big word of the week this week? So, Ben, what's your word of the big? Give me some big words, Ben. You keep saying things like that. (laughs) I won't tell you. All right. We're back again. It's not going to be as hype this week. We're back to old rules, boys. You're I, not on the timer. There's not a timer. And no, I don't. Two words. I don't have a, a fucking gripe my, ass bitch. My, I don't have any like molester ploys or <laughs> schemes this week. So just back to the old ways. Unlimited time. Just don't be a bag of dicks. The word this week is consternation. Close. Boondoggle. <laughs> Boondoggle. Oh, what's a boondoggle? I've heard this. I hope you have. <laughs> boondoggle. <laughs> hmm. oh. Boondoggle. Boondoggle. B O O N D O G G L E. With the N? Boondoggle. Uh, Boondoggling. Boondoggle? No. <laughs> Fucking boondoggle. Boondoggling, 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 boondoggling. Who doesn't want to get incepted this week? Raise your hand. No one raised their hand. I just incepted. I get to choose. Pat, you go first because you incept everyone. Boondoggle. I want to say it's part of a ship. It's totally not, though. (laughs) It's like, it's one of those, like, little. Cir- circle cranks. It's like, raise the boondoggle. Nah. Had that going on in my head. Then boondoggle could be like an insult to an old man. Or an old man saying that to like a young whippersnapper. Ah, yeah, fucking boondoggle. <laughs> Quit boondoggling around. <laughs> yeah, that's another way. It's boondoggling, boondoggling around. All you do is just boondoggling. You just boondoggle. So, which could be like an act of. Sounds like a southern slur now. Act. So, uh, just 
sticking with It's an act. No. <laughs> I think a boondoggle. Raise the boondoggle. I think a boondoggle is a device. Okay. That sucks clams out of the sand. Alright. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's a bo- it's a boondoggle. <laughs> Save the reef. Save, Save those reef. reefs. Save the clams. Wait, why would you want to suck the clams out of the sand, why though? Why wouldn't you want to suck the clams out of the sand, though? To get the pearls. To get the food. But the pearls just go straight into, like, poaching. Whatever you want to get out the of the food? sand. The food? What do you know about boondoggling? You can get some gooey ducks out of there. <laughs> More than y'all. You ever seen a big, big fat gooey duck? Oh, gross. Don't talk to me about gooey ducks. <laughs> you suck gooey ducks. All right, we're moving on. So he wasn't right? <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> Said he no. sucks clams out the sand. Oh. It's a device. I thought you were going circumcision, to be honest with you, but yeah, you didn't. So it's probably just like a boom mic. That's all it is. Boondoggles. Oh boom my mic. god! You did not say that randomly and get it right. I <laughs> know you're a bitch. All right, Ryan, go. Mm, I just have to do the boon or boom. Doggle. N with an N. Boon. Daniel Boon. Boon doggle. Doggle 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 doggle. Boon doggle. Doggling. 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 Alright. So at first I was thinking it was something nautical. Ah. That was my first instinct. Like a boondock. The boondoggle. Hmm. I don't think that. Hmm. Boondoggle. Quit accepting people. That's why you went first. You yeah, said be quiet. six things. You boondoggle? You got it. You boondoggle. Boondoggle my face. I boondoggle you. What you know about boondoggling? Hmm. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Did y'all have anything, buddy? I walked through it a couple times. <laughs> And I want to go thinking like of the word boggle, and it's like to be jumbled. <laughs> boggle. And like it's a fucking game. Like the boon part of it. See, I don't know. It's, Do you want it's, me to it's like a something. It's like the scrambling of something. Like something's like not right, and I can't think of which way I want to go with it. So I'm gonna say that it's. It's like when you're... I got Tourette's on the mind. Fucking camp. And I think, like, a boondoggle is like... Um, like a, a... a a Not like a Tourette, but it's like the instinct... Like, the com- way that your brain is just, like, compulsively, like, able to just be like... You know, like, when someone cuts you off of traffic, you're like, Fuck you, you fucking piece of shit! That's like a boondoggle like sensory that we have as humans it's, it's like not natural but it is like at the same time so like that that compulsiveness to be I don't know like uh, like an outlandish like remark like just being like just like how I said like a, a boondoggle is like me saying like fuck off like it's another way to say like slander <sighs> alright mouthful Larry Took a long time to get that out. You know, it's got Tourette's on the mind. Sometimes you guys really tell me definitions that I want to look up. Like you'll say a definition, I'm like, oh, that's not the word, but I do want to find out that what that word, word is. Yeah. That could be a that different. wasn't it's one. It's like of them, a Tourette though. for people who don't have Tourette's. No, I don't want to look up that word. That was that was not. Well, let me know what that right. Means. I no, I won't. So <sighs> fucking camp. Last but not least. All right. We got Tourette's. We got. Clams in the sand, and now we have. I know how I'm gonna start, but I don't know how I'm gonna finish. So <laughs> just bear with me here. Been These there. are the best. Boondoggle. Boondock. Ryan, you incepted me in a bit. Boondock's <laughs> Saints. Boondock Saints, the movie. Norman Reedus. Norman Reedus is also in The Walking Dead. He plays a character named Daryl. Daryl in The Walking Dead has a little flirt fest going on with Carol. So now we've got <laughs> Carol. The old woman with gray hair. And now, I don't... I think Carol, she must be friends with Michonne. So now I'm thinking Michonne has a crossbow. So now I'm sitting at crossbow. A boondoggle is a... P- 
piece on a crossbow. Maybe not the scope, but how about the part that the arrow sits on? That is boondoggle. Boom. Didn't Daryl have the crossbow? Yes. Why did Michonne make you think crossbow? I don't know. So you were thinking crossbow, but you had to go a little deeper, then you just went back to crossbow, basically. Yes. I'm not mad at any of that. <laughs> but you're not right. Fuck. <laughs> you almost had it. You were close. Boondoggle is a useless, trivial piece of work. Like this podcast? It's a waste of time. <laughs> <laughs> So if you're sitting there at your office and you're like, ugh, I'm just going to fucking sit here and doodle these pictures and anyone comes by, I'm going to flip this other page over and make it look like I'm doing math. TPS reports. Yep, that's boondoggling. If you're doing something to make it look like you're actually doing something. Boondoggle. It's the piece of shit thing that you're doing. The fuck, haven't you already had a word that was like this? Maybe. Hmm. Well. I've had a lot of words now, bud. I know. It's been a year of words. <laughs> Not quite. Just about. Well, they were getting nine there. Nine months. Fifty weeks of words. We're nine months into this process, people. We're getting better every day, every week. It's a pregnancy. We're God almost a baby. Process. We're almost full term. We're almost a baby, guys. Our podcast is almost full term. <laughs> My goodness. That's a good word. <laughs> Act like it wasn't a good word. You don't have good to tell me twice. Word. We were stumped as lumps. Fuck. Got him again. <sighs> Stop with your. <laughs> so I'm gonna end every segment. <laughs> you you're right. not incorporating your fucking. Until you get one right, yeah, that's all I'm gonna do. We can it. laugh like however we choose. It's my segment until you get one right. Suck it. You guys wanna talk a little shit? Stone of the bone. <laughs> sure. <laughs> well, I was um, taking a piss the other night after. He hit right in the trachea. I had to just chuck him the lighter at him. Fucking okay, dick. Whoops. Uh, I was taking a piss the other night after I had relations with my fiance. I had to sling that in there, did you? And well, this is it's relevant. I'm gonna sometimes show. Sometimes after snip this part even, out and even show after it. you like even after you just crank one out, sometimes the piss afterwards, I got a little fork. You know, like that, like that post, that fork kind of action when you're taking that piss. You know what I'm talking about? A like boondoggle, a little blockage. if you will. Huh? A boondoggle. It is a bit will. of a boondoggle. It's not, it's not a boondoggle, guys. <laughs> it's not what a boondoggle is. <laughs> it's a grike. Grike. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> be pretty so grike Anyways, there's a little bit of blockage that's causing my, my urine to kind of fork off, if you will. It's not a pube? Your dick becomes a snake. Right. You, so you've experienced the same... Happens to be am I people. talking? Am I only talking to Pat here? So today? I'll no, give you this. I'll give you this phenomenon. Yes. Okay. I'll it's give normally, you what you like, should like. What it is like. So semen. I'll use the technical term because I've right, said so come a lot in this jizz, podcast. I got some jizz stuck in my urethra. So let me finish. <laughs> Why? What does that do to shit talk? You've got semen. I'm getting there. You got <laughs> semen in your wiener. Mm-hmm. It's stuck there after you came. You can't possibly get it all out. You're not going to sit there and try. That's actually yeah, really, it's not good for you to sit in there. It can get infected, it can get gross. So the body naturally produces some urine as kind of like a wash Spiral. system, and it cleans out the the tube, so to speak. So that's why every time you're done beating off, if you stay awake for more than 30 seconds, you're probably going to have to pee. It's your body trying to clean out your wiener. Because when you pee, so there it you spirals go. out. Thank you, so doctor. So I guess my question <laughs> is, with the gross facts. I've always been one... To kind of alleviate this problem and to, to get like the blockage out, I pee a little harder. Mm-hmm. All right. it does Is that work. the strategy? It does work. It does work usually. I yep. I, I would say Normally every time it's about two seconds of blockage. peeing a little harder yeah. will get that little blockage out. You just gotta break Indeed. the dam. Well, the other night, oh, I have this blockage issue, and I'm like, oh well, shit. I'm peeing on the floor a little bit. Might as well, <clears throat> you know, get that blockage out. Put my put some force into this piss now. It won't come out, dude. I'm just... I am pissing. Like, I'm not even hitting the toilet. Like, it's going both... I pissed so hard, like, it went both ways and got on both sides of the floor. Yeah. I've never had that happen before. That's a bad one. It's funny, but, yeah. I was pissed off. It was, like, 10.30 at night. I'm like, ah, goddammit. I gotta wipe the fucking bathroom floor You just gotta sit down. Gotta sit, huh? You just gotta sit down and take a piss. So you just fork 
in the road of it like eventually it took like usually like you said it's like a two second like problem that gets alleviated but this was like a seven second issue mm-hmm. I'm and I'm trying seven seconds is a I'm, long time in the I'm piss like, world I'm trying to keep you know force it out trying to get a little harder because I'm like oh god I, you know oh I so you pushing. shot it like a sprinkler eventually it about bounced off the bowl and came back at me oh, yeah. shot it like a BB gun <laughs> the force behind it but anyway I was wondering if there's another way to solve the issue besides just forcing it you know just peeing a little harder do you guys have is there any other strategy that you guys have tried what I've found is that it'll force besides sitting which was a good very good thank you sometimes it forks goes to normal pee and then it'll fork again in the end oh shit yeah that that's a double happen. fork double fork you we can get a pube involved it's a double bird mm-hmm so there's no you guys haven't come up with any other tactic like maybe like a massage of the urethra or anything. I've never come to such a, a I mean grand experience I'm pissing both ways out my dick. I probably have a panic attack. I've been under to jack off and pass out and fall asleep with my pants down. You just wake up. Oh yeah, tell him that story, like please, 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 what, Just tell the story from what, how it you get goes. Wendy's or something. Uh, I'll I'll set it up for you because you tell me stories I don't forget them because they're classic. Pat. I don't forget your classics. Okay? A classic Pat story uh, as told you by Ben. All right. So Pat blocked it from his memory. I don't know. I won't even know. I won't even tell you what grade you're in because I don't know. For let's, let's just it's old enough. He's got it beat off, so he's old. And obviously he's gonna have no, to lay down. I lived there for a long time. This could be any. Well, we know we well, know she was getting about Wendy's you for me. So exactly this was middle school, and we know about you. We know that there's no way you can beat off if you're not laying down. So middle school, I'm gonna go get Wendy's, Pat, which is five minutes away. So he's like, hmm, he's gonna mull it over in his mind. Do I have enough time it's to not beat five off? Five minutes, fifteen minutes. All right, five minutes there, five minutes order, five minutes back. I'll give you fifteen. So in his mind, he's like, I got five. I got I got fifteen minutes. Let's see if I can crank one out. Homie has a long day at school, and he goes, and he beats off, and he comes all over his chest. <laughs> Go ahead, Pat. You can finish it off. I'll keep going if you'd like. <laughs> I like your story. You're in middle school. What were you doing? Sitting on the couch, watching my... Yeah, on the Sabrina fucking couch? The living room couch? No, I wasn't on the couch. So, 15 had, minutes goes by. I had calls by. on the couch, but still. After 15 minutes goes by, Pat's mom comes home. Oh, Pat. I got you. Yeah, I got you, Wendy. Got chicken nuggets. You want <laughs> your frosty and your spicy nugs? Pat. Pat, where are you? Pat. Pat, where are you? And what did she find, Pat? She's just asleep. <laughs> just with your shirt off, just covered in deep. What were your pants? Your, did you take your shirt off, or did you like do the like? Here, yeah. You just like lift it up to like your titties or yeah. something. She's barely above my tits. Just rolled your shirt up, pulled your pants down to your ankles, beat off, and fell asleep right afterwards. <laughs> and you were just so you're just covered in jizz, basically completely naked, dick okay. out, just got thrashed. And, and you're asleep. Porn is playing probably on my laptop. Too. And there was definitely porn. For reference, on. Wendy's yeah. is like a ten minute trip there from where he was at. Like five minutes in the drive through, ten minutes back, like maybe thirty, maybe twenty minutes, like twenty five minutes kind of thing. Well, yeah, that was just go, so like go the, two times. The cum hadn't even dried yet. Like it was still wet. Probably, yeah. Ugh. Definitely. She saw it. stood a, up and it was just running. You what were like room were you in? And it just was running down. That is a good question. I don't even know that fact. What w- room belly were bombed you your in? Ass. I've, it's happened multiple times in different rooms. <laughs> what? Wait, what? <laughs> Has every one of your family members seen you <laughs> beating off? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? All right. Oh, yeah. This happened multiple times. So when did your brother yeah. see you? No, we can't say this. We can't talk about this. All right. <laughs> we've already we've come too far, Pat. <laughs> All right, we can leave it at that. I will save you with my own my own quandary. It's my favorite if you will. story, though. If you mind, mm-hmm. if I if I drop in my own quick quandary go at the end it. of my shit talk <laughs> before yours. If you get other, yeah. Go for Whew, I prefaced this with got? Ben and told him that I would. Uh, he did potentially say this tonight, if not. But so wait, wait, wait. Go ahead. So the. The peeing out of both sides of your dick. No, that wasn't it. That wasn't it. No. Oh, this is gonna be good. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, now you gotta say it. I thought that was it. I was like, that was the bad oh thing. Oh my huh? god. Give me this embarrassing story, so, please. 
I'm not one to dream. And I'm definitely not one to tell people about my dreams because once people start telling me about their dreams, I immediately check out. Yeah. So I'm going to tell you guys about my dream. And let me preface this by saying this was the most fucked up dream I've ever had by far. And it's not that long of a story. So just bear with me before you fucking exit this fucking YouTube screen. <laughs> <laughs> Recently engaged with the love of my life. Couldn't be happier. Very comfortable in my situation. I had a dream the other night that I was a cuck. (laughs) 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 A fucking nightmare, dude. This is a nightmare. I literally woke up sweating. Like, my fiance woke up like 30 minutes before me. My girlfriend woke up 30 minutes before me. I was like, what the fuck was wrong with you last night? You were like tossing and turning and snoring like really loud. I was like, I had the worst dream of my life. I haven't even told her I had this dream yet. So, I've been holding this deep in me for a couple, like two days. I dreamt that I was watching someone else bang you. It was terrible! But you, but you liked it in your dream. You no, I was cuck. pissed off in my dream, but like I had no, to be cool cuck. with it because she wanted it. She was like, "Oh, right, uh, yeah." She was like, "I just kind of want to get banged out by like this guy." And I was like, "All right, like I love you. You're my whole heart, girl. Like I'll watch you get banged <laughs> out by this guy." <laughs> and I had to just be cool with it in my dream. <laughs> I don't know if a cuck is the proper term then. <laughs> That is a uh, night. That is a nightmare. No, it is because it was watched. definitely a nightmare. <laughs> that is a definitely nightmare. a nightmare. If you watch your cuck, if right. you're just like, oh, bit, that's like an open relationship. She's right. just going and banging Lars somewhere. But if like Lars is coming here and she's like, you got to sit right there in that chair, boy. Like, no, but a cuck gets off on it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so then, what would be the term for just watching? Is that like? Am yeah, I, getting, I think like, you just got bold. I don't know. I don't know. If well, that, I wasn't still think black, that's it wasn't a black guy, so it wasn't like black.com or something. That's like that. got to be like a subcommittee of cuck. It's like Fair. it's rucking. cuck light or something. Yeah, it's like the first step. <sighs> you got rucked. But yeah, I've been fucking distraught about this, guys. When, when did you, you have this dream? Tuesday. That what did you eat day. that night? What the fuck? Never eat it again. So I okay. So this was <laughs> Monday night going into Tuesday morning, and I had stuffed peppers. I made stuffed peppers that night. Oh, oh you did it you yourself. Did. You sent me this like Aborigine peppers. Stay at home dad me. dinner, and I was like, "What the hell are you making over uh, there?" The caption was, "I sent Ben a picture of the stuffed peppers that I made," and the caption was, "Trophy husband material." Peppers. And it looked good. It looked like he was Martha Stewart esque. Like huh. that's why you had that dream. You finally fully were like, "I'm a cuck." I'm a cuck. You looked at those peppers and were like, "God damn it! Like I'm worthless." God damn. Spicy foods gives I'm you. I'm a memory. shell of a man. If I'm making yeah. stuff. Peppers. This is it's a known fact. <laughs> well, well, I had I'll a nightmare you guys this week this. too. So I'll let you know if we start oh. cucking or anything like that, or if we become swingers in the future. You guys will be the first <laughs> to know. I feel like Pat would be the first one to get pegged. <laughs> what? what? Hiding. Thanks, I guess. I mean, if you keep letting mm. fucking gay meth heads in the house, what probably. I'm yeah. <laughs> first one to get raped. You're the first one that's just gonna be like, like hmm. hmm. I've never tried meth. Can I try one this of those? This girl's just be like, uh, this so stuff? I'm into pegging. You know, like, uh, exactly. You're about the love of your life. You better be careful down there in like, Fountain Square. There are some peggers down there for sure. Oh, yeah. Yeah. If you put on that leather jacket, go to Mass Ave. <laughs> Once you put on that leather jacket, your peg rate goes up. <laughs> your by peg rate is sixty percent. You're at seventy percent. Like, you rate. have a motorcycle? No. You want to get pegged? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, and then she's like, I got my bike over here. It's mm. got some pegs on. You gotta it. be on the back. It's a subtle hint. And then you gotta be at the front. And I then there's another guy bike. riding handlebars, no. and Pat's like. <laughs> What the fuck did I just get myself she into? She rides the bike around me. It and was a huffy. She gives me a big hug. At the heels. P to the Izone. Tell me about your Wi Fi woes. What do you got this week for a quandary? Taste. <laughs> so mad. Last night, last night I was drinking angrily, which is uh, <laughs> healthy. On a Wednesday. <laughs> On a Wednesday. <laughs> On a Wednesday. That's why you're still my favorite person, and that's why these stories that we've been telling always happen to <laughs> So what caused this stupid thing? Well, luckily I, I drank two beers, two strong beers before I went to go get Wi-Fi. 
And I just like a little bus <laughs> trying to get fucking cable. So it was it was like a it was like a 10 15 minute walk. And uh Ooh, I could have a couple of these strong beers right Strong before. beers in the hot sun, might as well sweat some some steam. Sweat that steam. Turn me loose. But uh <laughs> Drop it in there. Right. Respect that. So, I'm on a mission to go get fucking Wi Fi to go. <laughs> wi Fi to go in my goddamn car. And it's one of those little portable things that, I don't know, creates a hotspot and you get either unlimited data or a certain amount of data. Uh-huh. And you, What's that cost you? Like 20 bucks a month? It's eight, they had a plan last week for 80 bucks a month at Verizon. And you get the thing. You're going to use that as your home Wi Fi too? Right, because yeah. I can just walk in inside my house and it's yeah. unlimited data. So I walk in there yesterday, and the dude's like, "Oh yeah, they canceled that plan. Now it's last on Monday. Now it's seventy bucks for fifteen gigabytes." Mm. That's bullshit. Don't ever. Did you accept? No, fuck that. Okay, I walked yeah. out. Fifteen gigs is bullshit. Like and then like we had this other thing. They had this other thing that's not portable, but you can put it in your car. It's like twenty or forty bucks. And I'm like, that's just in my car. I want fucking Wi-Fi. Hmm. Yeah, Verizon was trying to break into the provide your whole home, like a lifestyle Wi-Fi brand, right? Yeah. yeah. Like the yeah. five, the five G. They're coming out with that here soon, apparently. Yeah. They're testing it. I mean, 15 gigs. You watch a couple 4K Netflix movies and you're done. Wi-Fi is all around us. It's like air. I should have to pay for a fucking plastic box to harness air. Fuck you. <laughs> oh, wow. Going at the Wi-Fi guy. You're saying yeah, Wi-Fi, is a, any, Wi-Fi is a Wi-Fi is a basic human right? It's go. air. What? If I have the capabilities to harness it, Live why do charge. I have to pay you? You would be in Kingsman. Your Samuel L. Jackson would abduct you. Don't say things like that to me. Because <laughs> that's like a legit fear of mine. Not like being in Kingsman, but Samuel L. Jackson possibly abducting me. So what have you been doing without Wi-Fi? So, about like... Just because I don't remember what life was like before Wi-Fi. I got bunny ears, which Yo. gives me... Uh, Three channels? No, it's like 50. Ayo. I'm it's not 50. Spanish. Chill out, bud. Uh, like no, yeah, it's digital. Digital antenna has a decent amount of channels now. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Gotta get those... It's got high-definition channels. RVs. Pat, just go grease over one of your neighbors. Tell them you'll give them 10, 15 bucks a month. No, they're all grease your, packs. You're not trying to get raped by the meth guys. Basement. And then why'd you invite one into your okay. house? Won't Wi Fi, you know, which gotta pay. Pegged on. <laughs> we'll all probably be pegged, but you'll be pegged first. Thanks, buddy. I mean, we're almost about to go into 2020. That's like, there's a high probability that pegging could become a trend. Well, my dearest sweet brother just walked in, so why don't we let him enjoy his home? I guess we you guys want to wrap it up with a little uh, lessons. lessons. Learned. Who wants to start? Who had a lesson that we learned today? I learned lots of lessons. I learned so lessons. much today. What did you learn today, Adam? I learned just to just to be calm when people are freaking out. <laughs> just let them freak out. Because more than likely they'll cuss right at your face, and then you don't have to worry about those stupid people anymore. That's a good lesson. That's a good lesson there. Someone's had so a much, shitty day. Someone just got off work. <laughs> Uh, what did I learn? I learned that uh, Ryan, uh, God damn when it. you had so actually, I learned a lot about you. Of course, you had a f- you may have a phobia about being a cuck. Right. Yeah. There might be some deeper rooted issues there that I'll have to probably see a psychiatrist or someone about. Got to see a therapist or something about that deep rooted issue. I also learned that you fork much harder than I do. I've never had a forking Dude, situation a, go to crazy. both sides like, of the rim. If you ever have one like that, I want you to call me. I don't care what time it is. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to fork down. What you got? PT? You learn any lessons today? Learn it would be a lot safer downtown. <laughs> <laughs> Damn right, Pat. Like, Damn. Appa- apparently. I'm glad you learned that. I'm though. glad. It just took me three stories of berating you. <laughs> To be like, hmm, maybe you I got- shouldn't let gay meth guys into my house. <laughs> you guys think my chances of getting pegged are very high. I'm glad you learned that, Pat. I'm really glad only you learned if that. I said that with the preface of only mm. if you keep letting gay meth guys Exactly. It's like, 
the situations you put yourself. I don't put myself in pegging situations. You do. For clarification, it's out the of meth love. head part is the part that I'm worried about. I mean, you're either getting the gay meth guy <laughs> who's smoking in your house, or you're going to go to Burger King and get the gay meth women. So, like, no, no they wouldn't be gay. They're, They're probably gay. They're scary, yeah. dude. There's some scary looking zombies out there, dude. <laughs> scary looking zombies. Those teeth, man. I don't know. If she can smile and still suck your dick. But. If Maybe they, uh, keep it. If they oh. have that toad milk, though, I'll try it. Ooh, out. toad milk. Toad, toad milk. milk. I learned that Colorado is going to be doing a fuck ton of toad milk pretty almost, soon. Almost yeah, bless us in Colorado. Yeah, it's like last week. I learned that there's going to be a lot of weird, weird, weird mm-hmm. stories coming out of Colorado. Give me some, true. Give me some toad People are going to be crossing toad the milk. dimensional planes, flossing down the fast lanes. Well, Sipping on we some toad. We share some stories. We share some stories lane. that we probably regret that we shared. Sipping on some toad. toad. We talked about smoking toad milk. Plossing My brother came in at the end. Okay. Here's another Sipping Thursday night. We turned the fuck up. We turned the fuck loose. The fast we'll catch you next Thursday. Have a fucking happy Sipping Memorial Day weekend. Toad. The Mazda 398 going down. down the interstate. <laughs> Yeah, this is the long-awaited return of the Fergus 3. And we're going old school. This one's for the homies. Blossom down the fast lane. Zipping on some toes. Blossom down the fast lane. Zipping on some toes. Blossom down the fast lane. Zipping on some toes. Blossom down some fast lane Sipping on some dough Lean back, porch chilling, cooler by my side Running low on the product, wondering if I can drive 2.30pm, the sun is up so high But I don't mind, cause the daytime ain't as bad as night And the hate crimes never happen in the light Where my keys and my shoes, fucking please I need some brews The earth's too hot my mouth's too dry, my curse is too rot on this day of July. Fuck that, start the car, hit the clutch, two in touch, double dutch, down the road, too much toad for my luck, so hit a bowl, calm my nerves, so superb as the chronic fills the air. Let it burn, smooth as turns, as I'm almost there. Speed climbing, top notch, 120, jet flying, too much. Hit two bunnies, unwinding, get lunch, sit in line for an hour, bitch. Fucking spilled on me, so there's no beer. There's just a shower. Fuck, there's just a shower. There's just a shower. Fuck, there's just a shower. The Mazda 3 hit 98, going down the interstate. Big Daddy rose up in the spot. I need some biddies and some pot. I pack a nine on my side at all times because the block is hot. Think I'm playing? Probably not. Don't get at me because you'll get got that smell right there. Oh, that's just the shit that my boy Dobo brought. Weigh a 20, blow it up. Jack and Coke is in my cup. Bitches flocking by the dozen. Macking on Ben's freaky cousin. Eating lobster creme brulee. Listening to Macy Gray. Dodging, swerving all through traffic. Reeking terror, wreaking havoc. Weed and lungs on the road. Flossing, sipping on that toad. Flossing down the fast lane. Sipping on some toad. Flossing down the fast lane. Zipping on some toad. Blossom down the fast lane. Zipping on some toad. Blossom down some fast lane. Zipping on some toad. Ooh, damn, that was a club banger. What's that smooth shit you bump in the ride, y'all? I mean, I mean. You don't know what we're talking about. Hey, just live it, baby. Just live it. Yeah, we're, we're horrible singers. We know it. We're rad as fuck. Peace out, bitches. And all my loved ones. Rub my hands like Birdman. Birdman. Birdman.